grand opening, grand closing. It's your only friend in these YouTube streets, Porter Rock 77, and I'm back with another video. Thanks for checking it out. Let's talk about this recent uh, rumor or this conversation about um, Sony doubting its multi-billion dollar commitment on games as a service. According to this article, figureheads are now scaling back. Specifically, it says, for what is worth, Sega and Bandai have a history of working together with Sony or PlayStation exclusives over the years. But as you read this article, uh, the snapshot is Sony is reportedly scaling back its games as a service strategy with the help from Sega and Bandai Namco, which is a weird duo because when I think of games as a service, I don't really think Sega and Bandai Namco, I don't know. It just doesn't sound like a pop to help out with games as a service. I don't know. But going on, it says, however, it appears Sony may not be entirely abandoning the gas model, but refining its approach and leaning on third party expertise. Maintaining its competitiveness in the gas arena is also crucial for Sony, given Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard King. Um, for me, I'm going to say this is not really credible for a couple of things. Um, well, to give the layout, um, I think this is pretty much made up because... This is something that sounds like gamers want to hear, especially those on PlayStation, because since the announcement of Sony pushing hard or PlayStation pushing hard for gas models, providing 10 to 12 gas games um, over the next four years or so, we seemed like a lot it was more received from a negative reception, right? So the conversations within the community are saying, oh, this is a terrible idea, yada, yada, yada. Then you have a few saying that this is a great idea because Sony needs multiplayer games. And then the, you know, the conversation discussions of, well, what's the right balance? Should is 10 too much? Should they just focus on three or four and slowly step in? It was just a whole bunch of conversations on this topic, right? But I think for the most part, the news of gas was received negatively within the community, vice positive all that gas games and all that effort to push out 10 plus gas games in a single gen just didn't resonate well with the recent uh corporate shift within playstation you know people getting fired jim ryan leaving and all this stuff and the assumptions of what's going on sony just doing a terrible job this this gen with messaging and i say that's the core of the of the of the situation they're just not providing a good messaging at all so people are not really sure the type of games that we're about to see, you know, a lot of assumptions over this. If Sony did cancel um, their games as a service or reduced it down, how impact impactful was that decision mean? Um, is all the PlayStation Studios were they forced to do this and now they don't have to do it, but now they have to start new projects on scratch. Does that mean we're not going to see first party games for a while? There's just so many questions, but I ultimately think that this is not really credible for a couple of reasons. Number one, Sony doesn't have, uh, at this point, someone to replace Jim Ryan. I think someone has to be in that position of CEO of PlayStation or, you know, in charge of PlayStation Studios, the position Jim Ryan had. So that way, whatever decision is made, one, that person has the vision going forward and the board signs on. With nobody in place, there's really no room uh, to say which direction PlayStation is going. You need someone in charge to follow through on that vision, and they don't have that. I think the person who would do that would be the one to have that as a decision factor. Uh, number two, this sounds like, again, just something we all want to hear, You know, especially uh, those who love PlayStation because of the first party, not so much for the multiplayer. This is something everyone wants to hear. I think the multiplayer guys on, on PlayStation, they primarily play third party. They love their Call of Duty. They love their Apex Legends, you know, the Destiny and stuff like that. And the argument of, well, Sony needs their own first party because they can't rely on third party. Look at just what happened with Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard. I understand that point. But for the most part, it's not like Microsoft's going to acquire every single third party shooter and multiplayer game out there. You still have Fortnite. You still have all this stuff. But right now, there's no, even to this day, there's really no answer to replicate Sony's first party offerings in terms of the story driven um, first player type um, first person games and stuff. Well, not first person in the viewpoint, but in terms of single player games. 
no one in the industry does it really better into that level of quantity and stuff like that. Um, take, for example, like Spider-Man. Spider-Man is absolutely amazing. And Spider-Man has done a phenomenal job. The only other third party that can actually go toe to toe with Insomniac in terms of this is Arkham, um, Box Steady, and they're not making another Batman game. They're making Suicide Squad, which is arguably potentially a gas type game. So who else is out there? You know, Insomniac is about to make now confirmed, obviously, Wolverine. So that could be another banger. So Insomniac could have two comic book bangers. And in the industry of comic book games, the only other entity that has done just as good is Rocksteady, and they're not making another single player game, at least not anytime soon. They're working on this um, Suicide Squad, beat the Justice League, whatever, defeat, fight the Justice League, kill the Justice League, whatever, you know? So if not Insomniac, you know, now you have other companies that are trying. EA is coming up, I think, with Black Panther and Iron Man. Um, I think. Ubisoft is doing a Captain America, Black Panther type combo, I think. I apologize. I think it's Amy, Han Amy Hanning that's in charge. But overall, to the level of quality. Mm -mm. And then to this day, how many studios are on the level of The Last of Us and stuff? Ghost of Tsushima. There's a lot of fantastic uh, single player games that Sony just step above everybody else. You know, while third party, you know, they got gas games on a lockdown and it's not like it's a lack of trying because so many third parties jump in the gas game and most of them fell there's only a few that survive and the few that survive they are still here and they are there for a long time you know so this is the thing this how should have this started in my opinion i think if i understand why sony is going for gas that's obvious and it isn't because single player is not enough whatever that's just xbox fanboys talk because again they, that's a community that always tries to blow out people's candles so that way their candle could burn brighter that's just their mindset they think if they could thrash another product that makes their product look good and it's not the reason why someone's going for gas game because it's just more money they're just expanding you know they got the single player scene locked down right you know they do great with Gran Turismo for the racing scene. They do fantastic with, with MLB The Show for last for at least the sports scene. So they got multiple scenes locked down, right? They just want to enter and put their hat in for gas to make more money, to make games that cater to multiplayer gamers and see what they could do to, you know, uh, make profit, make money, make revenue off another audience that loves those type of games. I think the main problem is they went too hard as if they already had it figured out. You know, that's, I think, the problem. They went too hard. Like, you already committed to 10 games. Like, bro, like, you're just starting. Like, you bet in the bank for no reason. Slow it down a little bit. In my opinion, what I would have done is I would have not, I would have not forced any of my first part studios to go into gas unless they wanted to. I would have just asked, hey, does any of you guys have an idea to chip into this gas game? Any visions, any concepts, things that you guys were drawing in a closet or in your bedroom and you never bought the task because you thought, you know, the opportunity would come, you know, and if the first part studios like Insomniac, let's say Insomniac, they would have been like, they would be like, yeah, I ain't got nothing. I, the gas, yeah, we never really thought of concept. All right, Gorilla, how about you? Yeah, actually, we kind of thought about something. Maybe, you know, we were thinking about bringing back Killzone or or taking over SOCOM. Oh, oh you know, let's talk more about it. How about you, Sony Band? Anything? Uh, yeah, not really us. We, we really... And okay, how about you? You know, you go through studios. Who knows? Uh, maybe Sony San Diego Studios has the baseball game. They might be like, actually, we have a multiplayer idea, but you kind of pigeoned us into just making baseball games. We kind of have an idea for a gas multiplayer game, but we just didn't mention it because you just want us to make baseball. You know what? We'll hook you up. Pitch the idea. We'll expand your studios, give you more support so that way you can make two games. You can still make MLB the show and you can make this multiplayer concept if it pans out. Deal? Let's do lunch. You know, things like that. They should have went out into the third party world. Small studios, startup studios, studios that left bigger studios to start up their own, you know, development team. So they could make their own multiplayer games, their own. Kind of like, you know, um, the creator of Assassin's Creed. I forgot her name. Um, she's making one. That's who Sony should have went out from the get-go. All of them. Almost every, you know, you, 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 you know. Put them a contract, fund the whole project, pay for everything. If they want to put it on PC, put it on PC, and let's see how it goes. And if those studios, those newly formed studios with expertise, 
you know, guys who've been on multiplayer teams before, they made, you know, popular multiplayer games. If they make a banger, then Sony could say, hey, you guys just made a banger. You guys proved your worth. You guys have fantastic capability. Would you consider being part of under first party studios? Yeah, you guys are the division heads for your studio. And if they say yes, boom. Now you got more studios under the Sony umbrella, under the PlayStation umbrella. That's newly formed, new IPs. And that's how should you do it. And I think that's that's how Sony should approach this. They should not force the guys that technically put PlayStation on the map in terms of first party quality, you know, out there. Because before PlayStation 4, PS3 was kind of starting that, you know, with The Last of Us, you know, God of War, you know, that that first party output. But during the PS4 gen is when Sony really went hard with that identity, where the quality, like when you see that that logo of Sony, you know, studios, that's just incredible. And that didn't really start until the PS4, because before that, PlayStation 3, it was, you know, it was good. It was getting there. PlayStation 2 and 1, it was primarily the third party exclusives with a few first party titles sprinkled in between um but i think this article is really the only source of this article is from a user in reset era that talked about it you know it says according to reset reset era user head on the block i think this this comment or what's going on is way too high up in the chain for anybody to have access to lack of ceo or head of playstation to steer the division in the right direction is not in place. So I don't think any of this is going on. I'm hoping, hey, we'll see how it goes. You know, with the, with the lack of information and stuff like that, we really don't know. All we can do now as PlayStation gamers is just take the information as it comes through state of plays. And when info comes, info comes. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it's don't. Um, we can only hope that with PlayStation, they get their stuff act together or they at least have a plan whether it's a combination of their own first party or supporting other studios and projects like the china hero project and stuff like that or new and upcoming third party studios that have great constant great ideas and sony recognize man this is gonna be a great game let's get it on board to playstation as long as they do that we'll be fine but again a lot of this news and all this stuff it's just going to come up a lot of it and it's going to keep coming up there's going to be a lot of assumptions a lot of made up articles a lot of PlayStation campaign smearing. You're going to hear that all the time, right? And it's just it's just, just going to happen, mostly because Sony has not done a very good job with setting the tone and the narrative for their own product, right? And the, and, and the reality is, if the company doesn't set the tone and the narrative for their own product, then other people will do it for them. And it doesn't have to be truthful, factual, or positive. It's, it's just is what it is because there's this void and it's going to be filled with something. And most often than not, if the company, they don't take hold of their own narrative and you allow somebody else to do it, it's just going to, that void is just going to be filled with trash and BS information. And at this point, what you could do is just sit around and rate, see what games actually have been announced and enjoy the games that have been announced and play them. And then that's really it. You know, for those enthusiasts that love information, that love to know what's going on, you're not getting that from Sony. That's just not the type of company. Now, whether because they changed their strategy or because they screwed up and they really don't have anything to say because things are kind of messed up in the background, we don't know. But because, again, you have this void, people are going to fill it in. And more, most often than not, it's filled in with nonsense. But anyway, you let me know what you think. Um, this is your boy, Porter Rock 77 your only friend in the used two streets. I will see you guys Tuesday. 60 friends don't like. Take care. Peace.